Hello, my brothers and sisters, and welcome back to another episode of Meditation Vibration. I'm your Mindful Cruise Director, Julie Zipper, and here we are, Chapter 2, Sun in Aries. I hope wherever you are, it is sizzling and smoking and popping, and you feel spring in the air like we do here in L.A. All right, so what are we doing here, Sun in Aries, for Meditation Vibration? Well, last week, I brought up the ego, and for these next two weeks, we're going to be talking about the care and management of your precious perfect ego. That's right, you heard me right. I said your precious perfect ego. If it's all good and it's all God, then God is in the humanness and God is in the ego. So you can stop trying to put that ego in the trunk of your car, bring it to the passenger seat, and know that you are in the driver's seat. Your awareness is just fully in its zone and you don't have to worry about it. The ego is not going to take over, okay? It's where it belongs, in the passenger seat, so it can talk to you and, and entertain you. What better to entertain you than your ego? <laughs> okay, so today what I want to talk about is actually how do we handle fears when they come up from our egos? Uh, that's another great hot button word for Aries, right? Aries are fearless, fearless. Fear with a little bit less. <laughs> so how do we deal with these fears when they come up? Well, I've got a system for you. It's, a, it's something that you write down. Once you get used to this system, you can just do it in two minutes in the shower or whenever it comes up you can identify the fear and run through this in your mind but for now I invite you to do this on paper the first thing that I want you to do is to contemplate what um, what situation in your life what relationship what um, expectation is present where there's fear around it okay so uh, whatever that is for you first find that and hey guess what if no fear is coming up right now, then don't worry, watch this whenever you do have some fears coming up, okay? So step number one is you're just going to give a voice to it, right? Because what the ego wants, it's a baby. It wants to be heard. So give it a space to tell you all of its fears. I'm afraid that I'm not gonna get what I want. I'm afraid that this person really doesn't love me. I'm afraid that I'm not good enough for this person. I'm afraid that he's gonna leave me. I'm afraid that I'm not good enough for this job. I'm afraid that I'm not gonna make enough money to pay rent, okay? Just keep going until you feel complete. The next step, and you can do this side by side if you want, or as step number two, is to write down any judgments that you have of your fears. So for instance, if I'm writing down, I'm afraid he's not gonna love me, ugh, my judgment is I can't believe I'm doing this again. I'm judging myself as silly, I'm judging myself as stupid, I'm judging myself as spiritually unevolved for having this thought. What are the judgments that come up around it? Then, after you're done with all of these uh, shadow sides of the ego, of the fear, I want you to start a new piece of paper or flip over the piece of paper and you mama bear yourself. Now, a mama bear is just the most loving side of your humanness. So you're going to say, you're going to start the sentence with, it's okay, dot, dot, dot. So I could say, it's okay, Julie, you're learning. It's okay, Julie, you're doing a good job. It's okay, Julie, look at all your friends that love you and that you have wonderful relationships with your friends. It's okay, Julie, he wasn't worth your time anyways. <laughs> Whatever that is for you, I want you to mama bear yourself. And then the last step, the final step, and this is probably the most important step. I want you to write down what is the truth. Now this is stepping into your field of awareness, your higher wisdom self. So we've been in the humanness, and now you're being asked to take a bird's eye view and to look at the transcendent truth here. Now for you, it might look like the truth is, I'm going to get through this. The truth is, if this guy isn't the one for me, there's somebody else. Say what feels right to you. That's an important aspect of this process. It must feel authentic. Maybe your authentic thing is, the truth is, I'm willing to be open to the truth because right now I don't know. Or maybe your truth is, the truth is, I am always supported by the universe and I am right now calling to me, drawing to me, a phenomenal relationship, a phenomenal job, phenomenal abundance. Go with your truth. And that's the process. Step one, fears. Step two, judgments. Step three, mama bear. Step four, the truth. And that is today's mindful exercise, all right? If you want to, you can go into a meditative space for a little bit with me. Breathing in yourself, 
breathing out any expectations, breathing in the perfection of this moment, breathing out any attachments or ideas as to how this moment is supposed to look. And I'm going to teach you a Vipassana meditation. All you simply do is as you inhale, you say in, and as you exhale, you say out. It can be to yourself, in your mind. You can actually say it softly. In, out. And just keep going and see how long you can sustain that. If any thoughts bubble up, watch them, observe them, and then just breathe them away. All right, my friends, that's today's episode. And I really encourage you to be with these fears. Mama Bam, tell them the truth. They need you. They need a voice too. Okay. See you next week. Live, love, be. So.